Hey guys, it's Nyjah. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I really wanted to record this video live with you guys um, on YouTube so that we could like have a sit down chat together and talk about all the things. Um, I'm gonna figure it out. I just have to figure it out. YouTube has this new software or this new way of going live or a new way of streaming where you have to uh, link up to external source and then link it up with YouTube and it's just such a headache. Like I thought I was technologically savvy but this is just letting me know that I do not know all the things so I have to educate myself if I would like to be on live again with you guys so please bear with me I promise the lives are coming back I just have to figure this out I am just <sighs> can you can you sense the disappointment in my voice like I was ready to go live with you guys and then a few of you guys hopped on but you guys were like the connection's really poor and I was like <sighs> We'll have to figure this out again. Anyway, long story short, it's March. Happy March. So today's video is a plan with me March. Um, we're in a new location because this is where I was going to go live with you guys on my bed. You know, nice and cozy, but that's fine. We can still do that. We can still do the thing. Okay, so it's March. I wanted to do a plan with me. I wanted to talk about what's going on in March. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight on what's been going on in my life. Uh, in February, I've had an amazing, crazy, uh, attraction-heavy, manifesting-heavy month, and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So... I'm excited to be on video with you guys. So if this video is interesting to you and you want to see more Plan With Me's, please make sure that you like this video. It lets me know that you're interested in the topics that we're talking about. Um, and subscribe if it's your first time to my channel. I make videos every week. Okay, so I want to start with what happened in March. So the craziest thing happened in March. You guys know I've been setting intentions to increase my income, to increase my self-employed income because this year for me is all about uh, creating stability and creating security and my financial, uh, I guess, like growing financially. So, you know, generating the amount of money that I want to see without having a regular job. Because you guys know I quit my job officially last year. So we're getting serious about this self-employed income. It's very much so necessary. And then you guys know I also um, am trying to find a new apartment that I want to move into. So in order to do all the things, we have to get our finances in order. We have to get our... Uh, credit score in order so that's what I've been working on in the back end. You guys saw my February plan with me. If you haven't, you guys can check it out. But in that last plan with me, I told you guys how I created my Get Your Ish Together binder. I have been using this binder religiously. Like this binder literally is helping me keep my entire life together. So I highly suggest that you guys create your own Get Your Life Together binder, Get Your Ish Together binder. Um, it is my February plan with me. You guys can check that out. I'll leave it up in the cards, but also in the description box. But yeah, so that's what I've been using. So basically, what happened in February was um, I was just hanging out at this cafe with my girlfriend. We always, you know, just go out and do fun things together. Um, and this, this is my girlfriend, Kate. Um, we always read tarot together. For those of you guys who don't know, I do tarot and oracle readings. It's more so something that I do on my spirituality channel. But I am finding that uh, spirit and source wants me to open up and not just, you know, save this aspect of myself for my spirituality. Because for me, this is really becoming an all-encompassing thing. I'm seeing myself change as a person internally and externally because of my spirituality and because of my spiritual practices. And I'm be beginning to have so many... Um, opportunities open themselves up to me you know I thought that I was just going to be a youtuber I thought that I was just going to focus on beauty and lifestyle and luxury um, but the guides are like no and my helpers are like no Nija you are a spiritualist you um, are an intuitive you are an empath and you need to use your uh, empathic abilities to help others so this was never something that I intended to like go full force with you know I just wanted to be a YouTuber, I just wanted to be a content creator, I just wanted to take pictures and be cute and dress up, but in my spiritual awakening, you know, in tapping into these uh, new gifts and abilities that I am uh, realizing that I possess, because you guys know, if you are not new to my channel, you know that I um, was raised, brought up in a Christian household, and then um, after going to college, entering my spiritual awakening, um, and then really 
really just coming into my own when it comes to creating a spiritual practice for myself. So long story short, um, you guys know I had been learning how to read tarot and learning about other types of metaphysical divination tools and like it's just so juicy to me and I'm so obsessed. If you guys want to follow my spiritual journey, you can check out my other channel, Celestial Mind. I go further in depth about that. But I'm just giving you guys the, the, the framework of what I'm about to say. So yes, I went to this cafe with my girlfriend Kate. We were just going to hang out, have some coffee, some tea, and read our tarot cards, right? Um, and so we're just sitting there. We have our tarot cards laid out on the table, and this lady comes up to us, um, and she's like, hey, what are you guys doing over there? And we're like, oh, we're just, you know, we're, we're, we're just reading our tarot cards. We're tarot readers. We're oracle readers. We like to read for each other. We read for ourselves you know blah 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 and she was like well I would love a tarot reading are you guys opening up shop right now like can I sit down and have a reading and we were like baffled we were like wow we were not even um, anticipating to you know read for this for anybody you know we just we get together and we read for ourselves but we were like yeah definitely we'll do a reading for you so she asked how much it was gonna be we gave her a price and she was like okay great I'm gonna go inside get a coffee I'll come back out um, with the money and I want you guys to read for me so so we were pretty much like shook already because when we got together my friend Kate says Nigel wouldn't it be so crazy if we had a place where we could go uh, consistently and read tarot together um, for other people and I was like, yeah, that'd be so cool. Um, but, you know, not really thinking anything of it. You know, when me and my girlfriends get together, we're always so, uh, we're, we're always in that manifesting state. So, of course, as soon as she says that, the client appears. And here we are, you know. So, we read for her. She loves it. She's raving about us. The lady goes and finds the owner of the cafe, which we hadn't met her at this point. She goes, finds the owner of the cafe, and she's like, hey, these two girls are amazing. Have you had a reading from her? The owner's like, no, I've never had a reading. I'd love to have a reading. So the owner comes, sits down at our table, and she's like, hey, I'm the owner of this cafe. I would love a reading, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and we're just like staring at each other in awe because, you know, when you have a, a friend like my, my friend Kate um, when we get together it's this instant manifestation same thing goes with my friend Ashley um, you guys have seen Ashley on my channel I think um, but Ashley is one of my good friends and when we're together instant manifestation like literally we speak things into existence so yeah like we just looked at each other in awe like oh my god Kate just said it'd be great if we could you know read tarot together for other people and then the clients just started appearing you know at this cafe so we read for the owner she loves it um, and she's like hey every Tuesdays we do a tea talk at the cafe we'd love to have you back and read we'll get some clientele going for you guys um, all you have to do is show up and you know we'll, we'll, we'll line some people up and you can do readings for them so yeah that's exactly what happened we ended up staying at the cafe that day for about three hours because people kept coming up to the table saying that we were reading tarot and they were like I want to go next I want to go next I want to go next um, and it was such a crazy experience so yeah you guys I set the intention in the beginning of February to make X amount of dollars that month um, and needless to say I met that goal because um, you know we were just at the right place at the right time and we were in flow and in alignment and we could have said oh no we're not really a business we're not really you know blah 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 but instead we were like yeah definitely we'll read for you have a seat we're ready for you you know and because of that the owner asked us to come back the following Tuesday and read again. And so Kate and I have been going to this cafe consistently reading, building up clientele, and it's been such an amazing, incredible experience. And see, I never, sorry you guys, the planes are passing. Give them a second, let them be known. Okay, they've been known. Okay, so yeah, guys, so long story short, um, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but yeah, that's basically the big thing that happened for me in the month of February. Um, and it, it really, it, it was like by word of mouth, we just started having a, a little bit of a clientele and people wanted us to start reading for them. So long story short, um, thanks to that, I decided in February to go ahead and get my business cards made and my business cards just came in yesterday. Look how cute they are. Let me show you, look how cute they are. I love it so much. So yes, um, 
because of that entire um, <clears throat> experience, um, people have been asking us, do you guys have a business card? Do you have business cards? Do you have business cards? And I... I never, you know, need, knew I needed to make business cards, but because of that amazing experience, I went ahead and made business cards. So yes, your girl has business cards now, and it just says Nyjah Sim, and it has my YouTube channel where people can find me on YouTube, and then it has my website, and then it also has my um, Instagram, and it has my email address. <clears throat> So yeah, I have business cards now, and I'm really excited. It it came out of, like, I, I, I don't think I needed business cards before. Maybe I did need business cards, but because of that experience, people were like, hey, we need to find you. We need to get in contact with you, so I made business cards. So yes, that's what happened in February. Lots of manifestations and everything like that. So yes, um, I have launched my tarot and oracle business. Um, I wasn't even in, in expecting or anticipating to start it. You guys know I really try to focus on my coaching my one-on-one -on -one coaching and my um one-on-one -on -one consultations but spirit said no Nigel, you're gonna be a tarot reader and this is your partner you know this is your partner kate and kate and i were already friends before we even started reading together but it's just so crazy how all of this started to unfold and unravel after setting that intention of this is how much I want to make per month. And you know, so this is this is my advice to you guys when you have an intention of how much you want to make, be open to how you're going to make it because I thought I was going to have to make uh, X amount of money just for my coaching clients, but spirit is like, "No, Nija, you're you're multifaceted. You're going to have so many ways to generate this income." You know, I didn't even ask to start up a tarot business, but I was at the right place at the right time with with my with my tools and it's just so crazy so I wanted to share that with you guys um, a little update on what happened in February so moving forward what's going on in March I'm gonna tell you guys what my current goals are so I still have my money goals um, I want to generate $5,000 in income this month which for some people sounds like it's nothing at all and to me honestly $5,000 is nothing at all um, but I'm challenging myself to make this amount of money doing exactly what I love to do so making YouTube videos helping people through coaching consulting um, and now adding that tarot aspect um, yeah I'm really excited about that so that is one of my goals for March also March is gonna be a really big saving month for me um, because you guys know we are saving to get our new apartment which I'm extremely excited about I just want to record the first video bringing you guys into this new space showing you guys it and being like see I told you it was possible I told you we we're gonna do this and here we are so I can literally, every time I think about my new apartment, I just visualize myself there and visualize myself making videos for you guys in this new space and it just excites me so much. I know it's coming because I'm able to get excited. So if there's anything that you guys are trying to manifest in your life right now, if you can get excited about it right now, that is a, a surefire sign that it is coming to you. So anything that you're trying to manifest, get excited about it as soon as you set that intention because that is how you know that it is coming. So yes, saving is a big thing that we're working on in March my goal is to have $2,000 saved for the move and then an additional $2,000 saved um, just for long-term savings because my my big hairy scary goal from um, for this year 2020 is to put 10k $10,000 in savings by the end of this year by doing what I love because I'm not going back to a regular job. So yeah, that's the only reason why it's taking me so long to move is because I don't want to get a regular job to be able to save up this money. I really do believe that I should be working for myself and self-employed and doing what I love to generate this money. So it has been such a journey, but it has been a very pleasurable journey getting to know myself and getting to, you know, know these, uh, getting to know how to grow my own business and yeah I, I have some content that I'm planning coming out soon showing you guys how I created my own business showing you guys the back end of things creating the website creating the domain creating the business cards um, creating the flyer social media promotion all that jazz so if that's something that's interesting to you and you are trying to start up a business or you want to be self-employed I really want to make content showing you guys how to do that because 
this is the future. This is what we're moving towards. People are going to become self-employed. People are going to be leaving their jobs and really doing what they love because in this day and age, we have the internet. We can create our own brands and really support ourselves by being ourselves. So that is what I preach here on this channel. That is what I really want to uh, move my ladies towards, move you guys towards. So that's why I want to show you guys how I do that. Okay, so that is... The goal for March, we are still saving money, we are still planning to move, we are doing all the things. And so in light of the story that I just told you guys about, um, you know, growing my tarot business in the month of March, I decided let's add a new aspect to our Plan With Me videos. I have my tarot deck here with me and I'm going to shuffle and we're gonna see what card pops out and this is just gonna be a little bit of intuitive guidance or like an intuitive message um, for you guys that is going to help you in the month of March no matter what your goals may be so tuning into the collective of anybody and everyone who will be watching this video what advice do we have for my ladies watching this video okay we have two cards that popped out thank you spirit so let's see what we have here okay advice for March we have the Hierophant love this card okay this is all about uh opening yourself up to more knowledge more wisdom this also is this like the teacher card um this also is um it's just it's just knowledge it also has to do with contracts so maybe you guys are going to be signing contracts this month um it makes sense for me because I plan to move, so I will be signing new contracts, signing a new lease. This also has to do with any kind of contractual agreement, any kind of legal agreement, um, maybe even courts, if somebody might have a court date this month or anything like that. That's what the Hierophant represents. But more than that, the Hierophant is the equivalent of the High Priestess. So the High Priestess in the Tarot talks all about intuition and you following your higher self or following your inner knowing, that inner call calling um, that intuition, following your intuition to make decisions. So, so since we have the Hierophant, I'm thinking that this is following, um, just learning more knowledge, accumulating more knowledge and allowing that knowledge to help you to maneuver and navigate through this month. Okay. So for me, how this I'm feeling pertains to me is I, I, I'm thinking my guides are really asking me to, um, watch more videos about financing finances, watch more videos about growing my business, watch more videos on how to market myself as an entrepreneur, you know, really taking advantage of learning more things. I'm really seeing that um, this is a really great month to learn more things, to educate yourself on your field of interest. If there's something that you want to do, educate yourself on it. If you want to be YouTube famous, educate yourself on it. If you want to create your own business, educate yourself on it. That is the big overlining theme of this month. Your guides are really asking you to accumulate as much knowledge as you possibly can on the topic so that you can be successful come the end of this month, okay? The next card that you have is the death card, or that we have because I have included myself in this, the death card, okay? This is all about re endings and beginnings, death and rebirth. This means that lots of new experiences and lots of new things are coming our way in the month of March. We couldn't have asked for uh, any better cards. This is excellent. So yes, the energy for March is learning new things, educating ourselves and getting a better understanding of what we're trying to do, where we're trying to go, just really becoming an authority figure in um, whatever it is that you're trying to do. Educate yourself on it before you make any kind of rash decisions or any kind of rash moves and know that things are changing and transforming in the month of March. Okay, we're really going to start to see um, new things surfacing in the month of March. You might have a lot of endings, maybe ending in a relationship, endings in friendships, endings in old habits or old beliefs that are no longer serving you. And to replace those old things that are ending or coming to an end is a new, beautiful, fresh, new, uh, a new beginning okay that's what the death card is all about letting old things die off so new things can be reborn and regenerated and i for one am excited about that energy you guys okay so one last thing before i let you go because that's really all i had i just wanted to share uh that update with you guys um 
and also you know add this new aspect of because you guys I used to try and hide this aspect of myself that I was a spiritual or that I was an intuitive or that I was a tarot reader because one like I said grew up in a household where things of this nature were deemed demonic or wrong um, and I'm you know jumping out of those paradigms now I'm no longer demonizing myself or thinking that I'm doing anything wrong I am in alignment the universe is bringing these opportunities to my front door and I've never been happier so I'm happy that I followed my internal compass and this just goes for you guys as well follow your internal compass follow your inner voice you know don't ask for the approval of other people just go for what is true to you and what is right for you even when making your goals for the month of march you know just really i'm i'm hearing really just try and just see what you can create doing exactly what you want to do doing exactly what you love okay you guys so here's the advice card for us today sharing shame Ooh, okay let's see what this is all about i love these cards by the way this one says when i share my deepest pain i give myself permission to be Ooh, okay so i'm definitely hearing the energy uh march is gonna be all about um clearing out those old emotional traumas clearing out old things that you know might have hurt us in the past or might have you know where we didn't get what we deserved in in the past maybe relationships that failed us in the past uh, March is really a time to go through those old emotions um, and clear them clear them transcend them forgive yourself forgive anybody and your surroundings that need to be forgiven um, acknowledge the things that have hurt you in the past so that you can forgive yourself for being in those situations or forgive whatever party whoever is involved um, being vulnerable with yourself you know not always having to be so tough or be so hard um, and it makes sense because we just had that new moon in Pisces and that that water energy that Piscean energy is all about emotions all about you know tapping back into your emotional self so I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are feeling triggered in this time or in this month or you know uh, feeling very emotional maybe emotionally drained emotionally tired your guys are just asking you to bring those emotions to the forefront acknowledge them accept that you feel the way that you feel and then trans and then and then not transcend through the trauma, but just deal with it. Just handle it so that you can become uh, clear again so that th so that you're ready for this next phase, this next chapter in your life. Because transformation is coming with the death card. Transformation is coming. New things are coming. This month, you have to be open to it. And in order to be open to it, you have to release old things that are no longer serving us um, so that you can make space for the new. Okay? I hope that makes sense. I think that is everything I wanted to talk about. Um, if you guys are interested in doing a one-on-one -on -one coaching session or consultation with me, just go to my website, nigesim.com. Um, I'm going to be helping you guys this month start up your own businesses or if you want to talk anything spirituality related, um, you guys can check out my consultations. They're on my website. Also, my coaching is on my website, nigesim.com slash coaching. If you guys want to get in contact with me, you can also just email me directly at nigesim at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And as always, comment down below and let me know what you want to see this month because I have some exciting content out, but I still like to know what you guys want to see, okay? So I love you guys so much. Thank you for bearing with me. Technical issues with the going live. I promise I will figure out a way to go live again. I just have to, you know, organize all this stuff and make it work, but it's going to work out, so it's totally fine. I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will see you in my next video. Happy March! Bye!